all right so in this video now we will look at how to handle the update of an individual lead okay so let's get started by creating a new url i'll copy this post url here and so I'll just add some logical spaces to understand so this is add and save this is list okay and now this will be update function name will be update and the name will be lead slash update okay inside the controller request okay now i need to validate all the properties which i am doing for create as well right because i don't want that in the update some key informations go missing which means the required rule set is again this and what we can do is also add let's say interested package as sometimes okay so which means this array can be reused so why don't we copy this in i'll have a private variable as validations add the constructor and i can assign the validations as this array okay so one two three four five which means now i can do this and in here post data will be this validate this dot validate it will be request this validations okay it should give me the data now obviously in update i'll need one more variable which is the id so rules equals this validations okay i'll got i got that and i'll add one more rules uh, rule in the array which is id is required it should exist in lead stable okay i hope you got that so what i have done is as you can see i created a private property which is validations because i don't want to repeat my validation rules okay so i created this private property it is now being used in my create function as in the store function and in my update function okay so the validations are common i can update only in one place and i'll be sure that it will behave properly and now that we have the post data we can load the lead where id is post data dot id and i can do an update in this place and return redirect route lead slash view lead is dollar lead okay so this is as far as the backend goes so the request will come it will have all those top fields which is name email dob phone number interested packages sometimes okay and i'll add the id in here because in the update the id is required without that i can't do anything so i need that okay and then we load the lead we do an update why don't we uh, do this okay and now let's see our component it's an async thingy so i'll copy this push it here and 
in here I will do update okay I'll still send the this lead thing okay and ID will be added because I am getting the props from the model which means the ID is in place just so that you are sure hit refresh and go inside inside our view tab inertia lead view in the lead I have the ID right because the props which was assigned to it have that uh, has uh, that ID right so I think now everything is done if if we try to some random user will go here and we will change this to some user some dot user okay let's change it to seven and this is let's say <coughs> something like this this is monthly plan and I hit save it says validate does not exist okay a small typo validate I will be able to update again because it's a server request okay undefined index ID hmm oh yeah so this is done I think now it should work because I was taking the validation which doesn't have this additional rule so hit save I need to <laughs> also show some message here but I think this is updated if I hit refresh this is one some user right this is updated uh, monthly plan if I change it to annual plan hit save and it shows one that's strange um, lead slash oh I think I know the problem the lead becomes one because after update it's just a true and false so fine we still have the ID so it doesn't matter will this work but yep it does so lead view let's try one more time so we have a user or rather why don't we add a new one okay spelling mistake okay the e is missing email also spelling dot mistake okay one two three four five oh yeah gmail.com seven seven 2019 okay so that's done and we have this spelling mistake here as well so a horrible data entry I hit save I have a lot of spelling mistakes I go inside and then I'm correcting this I correct this and I correct this as well and I hit save and I think now this is done because this is updated this is updated and annual plan is also reflecting and if I go into my database and hit refresh we can see spelling mistake these things are done and the created and the updated at are different it's 1154.44 1154.58 so yeah that's how the update thing is working in our application and that's pretty much the crud operations that you are trying to do so yeah thanks for watching guys if you like the videos and like the series do click on the thumbs up icon and subscribe to my channel